What's up everybody? So today's video I'm going to be showing you what's in my travel backpack. Uh, this has been a requested video for quite a while now and I've wanted to do it for a long time, I just never got around to it. I'm always curious about what other travel travelers uh, take in and stuff like that and I've watched quite a lot of videos myself of people that I follow on YouTube so yeah now is the time for me to show what I have been taking in my backpack. I consider myself to travel pretty light. I see a lot of other people I think carrying a lot more stuff but yeah during these last four months of traveling I've kind of like narrowed it down and now I pretty much have a selection of clothes and equipment pretty much what I need for for traveling in tropical climates so yeah let's get right into it. So first I'm going to show you my backpack so this is the main big one that goes on my back so this is very popular, it's called the Osprey Farpoint 55 liter. When you're traveling around, you'll see loads of people with this exact backpack. So it comes with this one that goes on my back. And then this one is the day pack. Obviously it also goes on my back during the day, but when I'm wearing them both, this one will go on my back and this one will go on my front. So first I'm gonna show you what's in the big backpack, this is pretty much what has like all my clothes and yeah this pretty much has the majority of my stuff so yeah I'm going to show you right now. So one of the cool things about this backpack is you can open it from the front and it actually opens like, like this so you can pretty much access everything in your bag like that, all, all the clothes and it just opens straight up so that's one of the benefits, it doesn't just open at the top. So first at the top. Um, in here, this has a bit of mine and my wife's stuff, so I have this cool little bag here and it basically has all the like toiletries, so I'll just show you a few things that we have. So right here we have some bottles of like soap and shampoo. We have like razors, things like that. Obviously um, toothpaste. And then we got these um, travel toothbrushes. So these little toothbrushes here, you open them up. So we've been using that the last four months. This thing also comes with a mirror, I never use it, but that's what it has. We have um, a comb for my wife, Carol, as well. So that's a bit of a mix of both of our stuff, but it's quite spacious. You can fit a lot of stuff in. Like I said, it's got both mine and Carol's deodorant as well. Next, um, right now, I have the, these trainers. Since I'm in like Southeast Asian tropical countries, I'm pretty much always in my flip-flops. So yeah, I, I always usually have these in this bag. Um, obviously, if you're traveling around to airports and stuff, you can wear these so you're not taking up as much space and that your bag will be lighter. But yeah, I have one pair of those, so I use those for like hikes and yeah, just walking around cities and stuff like that. Here I also have um, just electronics bags. It has like all the chargers for like my um, like laptop cameras and stuff like that. I'm not going to go too much into detail about that. I have that in another video with my camera equipment, which I'll link below. But yeah, I have this as well. Here I have like a raincoat that's helping me out right now because it's rainy season here in Southeast Asia. So yeah, light raincoat. Can I, it doesn't take up too much space. We have a little bathing towel here since we're always on the beach so that's in here at the moment and now on to the main thing which is how i pack my clothes so first i have this this is called a packing cube and i recommend everyone to get that because it's the easiest way i think to organize and um, store your clothes in like a compact way this way um, you can separate clothes as well like you can have as many packing cubes as you want so I know some people like to pack like underwear in a packing cube and maybe separate their clothes in another one. For mine, I just pretty much have all my clothes in this one. So I'll show you what I have right now in here. So I don't have all my clothes cleaned, I'll show you in a bit, but um, I basically have like, um, I think I have about five or six pairs of underwear. So that's here. I have about five or six vests as well like I'm wearing right now. I'm, I always wear these pretty much in Southeast Asia. I think it's the easiest way to stay clean. Obviously the armpits not into contact so I feel like if I'm wearing a t-shirt probably within 10 minutes it's already like I already can't use it again because of like the armpit like I said. And this I, you just feel a lot cooler I think so. At first I only brought I think four to Southeast Asia 
And in the end, I ended up buying two extra because I wear it so much, and that's pretty much it. I, I have like six of these. Here I have like a kind of like a dress shirt in case I'm just going to anywhere smart or yeah I've used it in temples before to cover my shoulder when I need to go to temples so I have two of these uh, dress shirts. Swimming shorts, I have two pairs of swimming shorts so obviously I'm always in the ocean and stuff so I use these a lot. T-shirts right now I only have one t-shirt. I had brought I think about three but since like I said I'm always using these vests. I just felt it was pointless to always carry around three, so I only have one. A lot of people probably take more than that, but yeah, I have one right now, and like I said, I pretty much never use it. Other than that, I have normal shorts, which I'm just using to walk around during the day. I have two of these, this uh, light colored one and a black colored one. And the cool thing about these as well, you can actually zip on like pant, pant bottoms to the, to the bottom of them. So yeah, like I said, maybe if you're in a temple or something, you have to cover up your legs, you could wear these. And then once you get to the temple, you could zip on the bottom of the pants. I haven't really used the bottom part a lot, but I'm always wearing these shorts. I really like them and they have like zips and stuff so I can keep things pretty secure. So I have two pairs of shorts. So that is pretty much it for, for my clothes that I pack in this one. So that's one of my packing cubes. My second packing cube is this one. As you can see, it's a lot bigger. The cool thing about this packing cube is it has two sides. So one side I can keep clean clothes and on the other side is where all my dirty clothes go. Basically it's kind of like moisture proof, odor proof as well, which is important because as you put it in like your sweaty clothes and stuff, you obviously don't want your entire bag smelling. So yeah, here is odorless, so I'm able to store everything in that. So, so right now, like I said, not all my clothes are clean. So yeah, I have stuff like underwear and other swimming shorts and things like that in there. And then in the other side, the clean side, in this bag, I basically store the things that, that, that are clean, but I don't use on a day-to-day -day basis. So for example, I have like another set of like khaki pants here, but I, ne I never use these because they're kind of like thicker and stuff. So I probably only use them in a bit of a cooler climate or maybe when I'm getting on a plane and stuff. So I don't put that in the orange one. This is stuff I'm going to use every single week without fail. So. That's how I stored my stuff. This is like everything I'm always using. And then in this part is like clean clothes, but that I don't use that often. So I think I just have this and another pair of swimming shorts and that's about it. One more thing that you'll definitely need is a microfiber towel. Basically it's a really small towel. Um, when you're in like hostels and stuff, a lot of the places won't provide towels. So definitely get one of these. It's kind of like odorless. Obviously it'll still collect odor with time, but I don't know, apparently it's some special material that's like antibacterial, stuff like that. So yeah, definitely get that because it's compact. Obviously normal towels take up a lot of space. So a lot of travelers will yeah, use that. Another thing I have in my big bag is a wet bag. I would definitely recommend getting one of these if you're going to like tropical countries. This is 100% waterproof, it's thin as you can see, and it even floats. So when I go on like um, like boat tours and stuff, I put a, I keep all like my electronics set, like drone and my phone and stuff in that. And I've even had it like floating in the water, which might sound scary to some people because of all the valuables. But yeah, like I said, um, since it's full of air and it's floating, you'll know if it's like got a hole in it or something because it won't be full of air anymore. So. Yeah, I've been using this a lot. Also on rainy days, I take this out instead of my day pack and yeah, it's been a lifesaver so far. So definitely get one of these. Other than that, I do have um, like a waterproof case for my day pack since it's not waterproof. So this just wraps around it. So yeah, I've used that a few times, but not so much because like I said, when the weather's bad, I just go out in this one. So yeah, like I said, all my clothes uh, are just these two. So when I, when I pack them in my bag here, I basically just put them on top of each other and as you can see that this is the wet bag by the way but it pretty much leaves me with more than half of the bag still to put all my other stuff in so then yeah I'll put like this on top of there my chargers and then um, here all the toiletries I also have medicine in there I didn't mention it that will go right here and then I can just zip it up like this 
Next, I'll quickly show you my day pack. So this is pretty much what I'm always traveling around with from day to day. The other backpack always stays in the hostels or Airbnb that I'm staying in, obviously. But this is what I'm actually traveling around in. So it's quite small, doesn't fit that much stuff. In here, I have just like a hoodie in case it gets cool. And then other than that, I'm not going to go into detail, but this is just only my uh, camera equipment. In another video, I explain what camera equipment I have, but you can see it's quite a lot of space. I have a drone in here and two cameras and yeah, it's not even half full. And it also has a laptop holder. I have a big laptop, but it fits in quite well. And there's some zip compartments where I can keep like my visas and my documents. So I'm always carrying around that, that with me. Also in the front, you have another zip here. So in here I have like headphones, I have some earplugs and a torch also. This comes in in handy sometimes. You should probably have a torch with you. Other than that, I didn't show you, but going back to the subject of like medicine, um, my wife carries around that in hers. We just have stuff like diarrhea tablets, um, painkillers, antiseptic cream, uh, paracetamol, things like that. Just a few things like some of the basic like illnesses that you'll get so yeah we have a few things for that so now I'm gonna stand up quickly and put this thing on so you can see how it looks while while I'm wearing it so first I'm gonna put on the, the big backpack so like I said this will just go right on my back I did mention before but I think my clothes weigh around like six kilos so not really that heavy on my back not too bad and then this one all with all my valuables that I want to keep an eye on stuff that's always with me I'll just put this on the front and yeah this is pretty much how I'm walking around when I'm going from like one city to another or from a hotel to hotel I'll just be walking around like this this backpack does actually zip onto the back so you can wear it right on the back but yeah I never do that one it will be huge and like I said I want to keep a close eye on my valuables now before I forget to mention I also have these two TSA locks so I'll always lock this one in the main compartment of this one and the other one will be on my big pack back so definitely get some good locks because yeah you're gonna need that and one more big thing is this bag is actually officially too big for uh, to, to be a carry-on bag in most airlines like the actual dimensions of it are too big but there is a little trick that you can do to yeah basically not get caught and always be able to take on as carry-on I've been going around Southeast Asia now in small planes and I've never had an issue I've been able to take it on every single flight they haven't even asked for me to like prove the dimension or see if it fits or anything yet so I'm going to show you what I do so basically I'll put the small one on my back so basically the straps here you can wrap them up so that that they can't be seen so you can zip them up here so at this point it doesn't even look like a backpack anymore and then you carry it just as if it's like a little briefcase. So basically when I'm approaching like the counter and stuff, I'll just be using it like this. Obviously you gotta pretend it's kinda light so it doesn't look like you're carrying a lot of weight or a big bag. And then looking at it from this angle, usually I think they just think it's a, a light carry-on bag. So so that's like the trick right there to be able to yeah carry on without any issues if you want this bag. So there you go, that is pretty much all the stuff that I've been carrying around with me. You can find the majority of this equipment in the description on my Amazon page. So yeah, you can buy it there or if you just want more information about each thing, you can click on the links there and yeah, check out the equipment yourself. So hopefully you found this video helpful. Um, if you're going to be traveling to like tropical countries long term or even short term, I don't think I'll ever be going to a tropical country with more stuff than this since yeah, since I've basically seen that I can take this, this much stuff with me now. And one thing I forgot to mention is we do do laundry once a week. Once I run out, you just do laundry and then repeat, wear all the same stuff over and over again every week. But yeah, that's what you do. So if you found this video helpful and enjoyed it, just drop a like on the video to help support me. Subscribe if you like to see more videos like this. And I'll see you guys in the next one.